In this episode, we are going to talk about uh, pure strategies and mixed strategies in detail. Um, well, if the game G is a simultaneous move game or one-shot game, well, then uh, we use the term strategy and action interchangeably. However, uh, if G is, again, simultaneous move game. However, if the game G is an extensive form game or dynamic game, well, then strategy is a bit more complicated object than action. Well, what is a strategy in a dynamic game? Well, strategy is a complete contingency plan. It basically a roadmap which tells us what action to take at every decision note the player may have. So, uh, currently, uh, what we mean by decision notes and, and things like that, I'm not going to explain because we are going to talk about them in detail uh, later when we talk about extensive form games. But uh, to just for now, uh, remember that strategy and action are two different things in an extensive form games. All right, what else? Well, in a game, G, um, not denoted by N, S, and then a collection of payoff functions. Remember, this is how we denote a game. So S is basically a, a, a set of uh, strategy profiles, S1 cross S2 cross. So this is a Cartesian products. Uh, we are basically multiplying the strategy set of all the players in an order. So the exact order is important. Um, well, SI, so any player I, SI basically tells us the available actions, strategies for player I in this game. All right. So whatever strategy available for him to choose, well, all of them are included in this set. Well, SI may be finite but it may be infinite. For example, uh, if you remember the Cournot competition, so two firms are choosing their quantities. Well, in this game, the strategy set is, uh, has infinitely many uh, strategies. Um, however, in some games, for example, uh, Prisoner's Dilemma, uh, there are only two available strategy or action for each player. All right. Well, one thing is certain is obviously the strategy set for any player is non-empty. If it is empty, well, you don't really consider that player as a player. All right. Well, a standard element uh, in a, uh, a set of strategies is denoted by S, S prime, S double prime I. Don't forget the I's because those are the strategies that belong to player I. All right. So these are typical strategies. This, this, this is the notation we use. Okay. Well, as I said, the set of strategy profiles, S, is nothing but a Cartesian product. If you don't know what Cartesian product is, please refer back to the math reviews. A standard element in S. So here in this set S, there is no subscript I or one or two, because it basically tells us that this is a vector. So a standard element in S is denoted by S, for example. So it can, it, it, it is, uh, it, it involves N players strategies, S1, S2, all the way up to SN. All right. So this is just one standard element. If you want to denote another strategy profile, again, we use prime double prime. All right. So it's S1 prime, S2 prime, SN prime. All right. So this is another. If you want to need for some definitions, you may need, you know, more than two strategy profiles. Uh, S double prime is another uh, example. All right. So whenever you want to say uh, player I and his opponents, so player I, well, this is how we denote him or her, and his opponents are denoted by minus I. All right. So if you have, for example, 100 players, you know, minus I basically means uh, this, this is uh, all the other 99 players. All right, so the minus I refers to everybody else. So be, be, be careful. So this is just one individual, but minus I doesn't refer to an individual. It refers to everybody except uh, player I. So in a sense, all right, in a sense, they're not the same thing. For that reason, I use this equivalence 
a relation. Uh, they, they, they mean the same thing. Uh, minus i is kind of n, the set of players, uh, minus player i. Okay? Um, so sometimes we want to denote a strategy profile of all the players uh, except player i. So what is this? Well, this is, again, a, a, a vector, a set of vectors, I'm sorry, but we do not take the Cartesian product of n or all of the players. We take the Cartesian product of all the players' strategy sets except player i. So it's basically Cartesian product of s1 times s2 times all the way to s i minus 1. So remember the players are kind of numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So this is player i minus 1. I skip player i. It's not in, in, in included in here. So therefore the next player is player i plus 1. Cross all the way up to sn. All right. So once again, this is a vector, a set of vectors uh, with a di di <coughs> sorry, dimension n minus 1 because player i is excluded. This one, however, is a, a, again a set of vectors dimension n because player i is involved here. All right. So therefore, if I want to sort of call out some strategy profile um, of player i's opponents, well, I use s minus i, for example, or s minus i prime, or s minus i double prime, okay? And don't forget these are strategy profiles of all the players except player i, uh, i. Okay, so I'm not going to write them, but these are standard elements in S uh, sub minus i. Okay, all right. Uh, well, sometimes we want to single out player i's strategy, and instead of writing it as 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 this, all right. So this is the strategy profile uh, of all the players, right? Sometimes we want to say uh, S is equal to SI and S minus I. All right? Uh, so SI is the player I's strategy in, in this uh, vector. All right? So they're identical basically means I am, instead of writing this strategy profile in a long way, like S1, S2, S3, all the way up to Sn, what I'm doing is I'm singling out uh, player I, Si, this is his strategy, because I want to talk about his strategy specifically. And then everybody else's strategy is represented by S minus I. Don't forget, S minus I is a vector again, all right, a vector with n minus 1 elements. So together with si, this is a vector of uh, dimension n, which is equal to this one. All right. So uh, these are, this is exactly why I wrote s equals this, s equals this. So we sometimes write a strategy profiles this way, sometimes it this way. Okay. Whenever we want to single out player i, because we want to talk about this person. So we write the strategy profile this way. All right, so that's a very important notation. We're going to use it a lot.